Hi everyone. In this video, I will be demonstrating to you how you can convert a numeric variable into a factor variable when working with R or R Studio. So in this demonstration, I'm going, going to be working with R Studio. We're going to start out by uh, just creating a very small data frame with three variables. So uh, imagine that we're uh, going to be um, entering some fictional data on uh, measures such as age, year in school, and gender identification for a set of students. Uh, as we enter the data into uh, our studio, we're going to be setting it up so that it just kind of assumes or recognizes the data as being numeric. And then from there, I'm going to pivot off of that and then show you how you can convert those numeric variables into uh, factor variables. Uh, with respect to the gender ID variable, that's just just going to be treated as a nominal variable uh, in terms of the year in school variable. We'll treat that as an ordered categorical variable representing amount of education. Um, so that's essentially what the years are, are capturing. So what we'll do now is go up to File, New File, and Script right here. And in this top box, this is where we're going to enter our syntax. We could theoretically enter it in the box below, the console below, but uh, my preference is uh, to enter it up here. Uh, makes it a little easier to debug and so forth. So we'll go ahead and start off by typing in age. We're going to create an object that's going to contain the age data for uh, nine students. So I'm going to use the uh, C function. So We'll type in C right here, and then we'll type in our ages. So we have 15, comma 16, comma uh, 15, comma 17. There's 18, 17, 15, 16, and 18. Okay, so we have nine uh, students. Those are the ages um, in, in, in a particular order. So this is basically student one all the way through student nine, uh, who is 18 years of age. Next, we'll type in year. And I'll type in the, um, you know, the assignment operator, which is a lesson sign followed by hyphen, then C, and then we'll type in one comma two comma one comma three comma four. There's a four, two, two, and a four right there. So I've just entered in these values to stand for or represent year in school, where one is going to be uh, representing a freshman, two for uh, sophomore, three for junior, four for senior. Then next, we'll type in gender ID. We'll type in our arrow right here, followed by C, and we'll use the uh, value codes of 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and 0 right there. So just uh, again, imagine that we have nine students. We have uh, the ages for these nine students, year in school for the nine students, and gender ID for the nine students. So we can we can uh, combine uh, this information into a data frame. I'll call it DF, and uh, there's my little arrow right there. And I'm going to type in data dot frame, and we're going to uh, just type in our uh, the object th the objects that contain our data. So we have age, comma year, comma gender ID right there. So and, and basically, the uh, the columns are, are the data uh, in the columns. Um, they're going to be ordered in the same way that you see uh, that we're entering uh, thus far. So I'll go ahead and highlight all of this and click on Run. And so if I type, you can see, uh, you know, to the right, we see uh, information about the data frame with the, the values and so forth. Uh, if I type also, a DF, just to take a look at the data and then click on run, you can see there's our data frame with uh, age, year, and school, and gender ID. And if I t use the structure command, STR, then uh, the name of the data frame, you can see it's registering age as numeric, year in school as numeric, and gender ID as numeric. And uh, this is not really how I want to uh, have these factor variables represented. So what I'm going to do is convert them into factor variables. So we're going to be, again, converting gender ID and uh, year in school to factor variables. So we'll start off with the gender ID variable. And the easiest way to convert this is just basically to type in the name of the data frame followed by a dollar sign, and then followed up with the name of our variable in that data frame, which is gender ID. 
Okay, so following that, we'll type in our arrow, which is a, a less than sign followed by a hyphen. And then following that, we're going to type factor. Um, and so this is basically a function uh, that we're going to be using to, to uh, treat this variable as a factor. So next, I'll type uh, the uh, parenthesis. And then inside it, I'm going to type df dollar sign gender ID yet again. So this is basically going to be treating our um, our gender identification variable as a factor variable. So that's basically all there is to it right there. And then from there, what we'll do is we will um, basically just highlight this and click on the run button. And if we take now another look at the structure of our data set, we can type in str df and uh, we'll highlight it and run it. And so now you can see that gender ID is recognized as a factor variable. Uh, also, you know, obviously if we type in just DF, the name of our data frame, uh, you'll see that we still have the same values that we had previously, but now uh, we're, uh, the program is recognizing this variable as a factor variable. Now I can also um, add labels if I want to, to the levels so that th those labels appear in my data frame instead of zeros and ones. So the way that I can do this is just to type in df for the which is the name of our data frame again, then dollar sign gender ID, then we'll type in our uh, arrow followed by factor. We'll uh, also refer back to data frame name df dollar sign gender ID, and then following that we're going to now add in. Uh, the uh, option for uh, levels. So we'll type in levels, set that equal to, we'll use our C uh, function right here. And inside this parenthesis, we'll type in the names of the values uh, that appear uh, with respect to gender ID and uh, the data set. So we only had two values, which were zero and one. So we'll type a zero comma one. So next, We'll, we'll step outside of that, that parenthesis and we'll type comma, and now we'll type in labels. So we'll set that equal to, and we'll also use the C function again. And so inside the parenthesis, we'll type in the, um, uh, the, the labels that are associated with those levels. So we only had two of them. So, uh, so for these labels though, we need to uh, put them inside quotation marks and separate uh, by a comma. So I'll type in uh, quotation marks. We'll type in male in quotation marks, comma, then female in quotation marks. And then we have the in parenthesis. So the in parenthesis right here is closing out this uh, function right here, that C function, just like this parenthesis is closing out this C function. We, you'll notice that we have this extra parenthesis out here, and that's closing out this factor function right here. So at this point, uh, what we can do is we can, and by the way, just to kind of make things a little easier to read, I'll kind of uh, uh, hit enter and move it down a, a line. So now I can highlight all of this and click on run. And so now everything should be uh, registering a little bit differently. So the structure is gonna be the same. So we just type in str uh, and inside parenthesis uh, df, for, which is the name of our data frame. So it's still registering as a factor variable, but now you'll see the labels appear, which are male and female right there. Then if we type in df, and highlight and run, you can see that now our variable contains those labels. So you can see where there's our male and female gender identification for that particular variable. So the next uh, thing that we're gonna do is we are going to convert uh, the year variable into an ordered categorical or an order ordinal variable. So in this case, I'm gonna type in DF uh, dollar sign year and then we'll uh, type in our arrow. We'll follow it up with factor yet again. So just like what we did before, we'll type in df dollar sign year. So we're referring to that variable in our data frame, which is called df. And uh, we're also going to add in uh, the following uh, argument, which is gonna be uh, ordered. So you'll notice that we have a comma after our variable name we uh, type in ordered and we set that equal to true. 
So now when I highlight this and run it, you'll see, uh, well, obviously it ran. So now let's just take a quick look at the structure. We'll type in strdf, which is our data frame name again. So if I click on run, you'll see that now year is appearing as an ordered factor. So whereas before uh, year was still registering as a numeric, now it's registering as an ordered factor. And we can do the same thing that we did before in terms of providing uh, labels uh, if we want to do that. So we can type in df year again, there's factor, df, uh, there's our dollar sign year, and then we'll uh, stick with our ordered uh, argument right there, setting that equal to true. Next, we'll type in levels equals, and we'll use our C uh, function for uh, combine, and then we'll type in one comma two comma three comma four, and then outside of that parenthesis, we'll type a comma yet again. I'm going to actually go ahead and go to the next line just to continue this. We'll type in labels and then uh, equals C. And inside that parenthesis, we'll type in our labels. So I'll type uh, for uh, inside the quotation marks, I'll type in, uh, we'll type in fresh for freshman, uh, then comma, and then new set of quotation marks, F S O P H for sophomore, then outside of the quotation marks, comma, then quotation marks, J U N for junior in quotation marks, and then uh, start quotation marks, and we'll do senior right there uh, in quotation marks. So in this case, we're going to close out that uh, C function right here. We have to have our in parenthesis right there, just like we had our in parenthesis up here with our levels, and then we have this extra uh, in parenthesis right here, which is closing out the factor function right there. So when I highlight all of this and click on run, uh, you'll see that it looks like I uh, inadvertently, oh yeah, I failed to put the correct uh, data frame name. So it's DF for data frame. So if you don't type it correctly, you'll get the uh, error message that shows below. So now I'll click on run. And so now it's all ready to go. So I'll just type in uh, STR for structure. We'll refer back to our data frame name yet again. So now you can see uh, we have year, it's an ordinal factor, and you can see it's just giving you the first couple of labels right there. But if you want to see um, the data frame uh, in, uh, complete or the full data frame, just type in DF, and uh, there you go. So now you can see we have our age, we have year, and we have gender ID uh, for our nine students. So that's basically all there is to it in terms of converting uh, numeric variables into factor variables in R and R Studio. And thanks for watching.